Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. It's me. It's early morning here. It's presently uh, 6.36 a.m. I've been up for a while. I woke up this morning about 2.30. <laughs> went to bed early last night and because I went to bed early I woke up early. So yeah, I've been up for a while. But I used the time this morning to uh, play around on HF testing um, a receive antenna. The hula loop. Not hula hoop. Although it's made out of a hula hoop, but it's the hula loop. Now, using a hula hoop uh, for an antenna, um, it's not a new idea. There's tons of uh, antenna designs out there that use the hula hoop as the framework uh, that supports the antenna. A little Google image search uh, came up with just tons of images. There's some videos. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, mine is an active receive antenna. So what's going on is it's not a magnetic loop. It's not coupled. Uh, there's not a separate coupling loop to the main loop. It is simply a single loop of wire once around with a preamp. And I have the uh, W7IUV. Yeah, I think that's it. W7IUV um, preamp hooked up to the loop. Here's a schematic uh, for the uh, preamp. It's real simple, single transistor circuit. Plenty of uh, designs out there if you want to build your own. But let's have a let's have a look at the uh, um, at the beastie, and then I'll uh, show you the video I recorded earlier this morning as I was testing it and comparing it to the active mini whip that I have up in the air above the house. You'll find that video interesting because the active mini whip is is up in the air, and the uh, hula loop was right here beside me inside the house, and still the hula loop just blew away the active mini whip. So let me reposition the camera and uh, we'll take a closer look at the uh, at the hula loop. All right, so this is the antenna. It's a regular child's hula hoop that you can pick up at Walmart or anywhere for a couple of bucks. And I ran a piece of wire, just a single turn of wire, right through the center of the loop, uh, or the hoop. These things are all the same. They're made out of extruded plastic tubing and there was a split somewhere that has a little two-way rubber plug that connects it and usually they'll be full of uh, or have some sand or some liquid inside them to uh, dampen their motion so you'll want to blow it out or drain it out after you find the seam and open it up but then I fed the wire through it and then down here on the board I have a couple of pipe clamps that are just clamping the uh, hula hoop there and the preamp board I'll bring the camera around here and we'll take a closer look at the preamp so here's the uh, base of the hula loop. Now this is the uh, W7 IUV preamp board. Um, I've talked about this before. I was playing with it on my uh, junk box magnetic loop. Um, it's uh, simply a, a powered single stage transistor at broadband RF amplifier. Power comes up the coax from a bias T um, power feeder. I'm using the built-in bias T voltage on the SDR play to feed it. And then uh, you've got a choke that chokes off the RF from um, uh, from the amplifier and then a capacitor that isolates it and then the RF bypasses that goes right up the coax power comes in through this choke and feeds the amplifier. Over here I mean, you can see that there's two wires here and two wires here. They're actually joined together. It's just doorbell wire that came twisted up. I didn't want to untwist it, so I just pushed it through the loop and used it as a single conductor. So I've just got correct, directly DC connected the uh, loop wire right to the preamp. There's no capacitive coupling. There's no tuning. There's no coupling loop. It's a continuous circuit from the preamp right through the hula hoop and back out. So really simple. Not much at all to uh, putting this thing together if you have the preamp board. Now you could go without the preamp and hook the antenna directly to it and it would still work pretty well as a receive antenna, but the preamp really, really makes it hot. It makes it incredibly sensitive, in fact. If you're really close to any kind of broadcast antennas, um, you probably wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have much luck with this. But if you're out in the country, for sure, this would be a really great hot receive antenna. All right, let's... Uh, Let's look at the uh, video where I was testing it earlier on this morning. Well, it is just about 4 a.m. I've been playing around with the hula loop. And uh, sorry about the uh, 
noise here. Hold on. So we are presently at 4.84 megahertz, and this is the active mini whip antenna, which is outside above the roof. And as you can see, uh, the strongest signal in here has the gain, the automatic gain on cubics, just hovering around negative 42 dB. I'm going to switch to the hula loop, which is on antenna B on the STR play. And the automatic gain's adjusting, and you can see that's coming up to let it settle in. About negative 26, negative 25, negative 27. A little bit of fading going on, but uh, signal's about twice as strong. A few years ago, and actually quite clear. That's the active hula loop. Now let's switch over to the mini whip again. The signal practically goes away. Right down in the noise. And the uh, mini whip is up above the roof. And the hula loop is right here in the middle of my dining room next to me. Let's switch back to the hula loop. Massive difference. Absolutely massive difference. And you're listening to WRMI, Radio Miami International. Radio Miami International. Okay, good. That's coming out of Florida. And you can see it's really strong. The automatic gain has got the gain all the way up to negative 4 dB right now. Let's switch to the uh, mini whip antenna outside. Oh, drops way down. Look at that. Okay, so that's uh, negative 22 dB is what the gain settled into. Now let's switch back to the hula loop. Boom, look at that signal come up. Holy crap. Massively stronger signal on the active hula loop. So if the giver of yours it to him, the land shall be utterly empty, utterly there, spoiled. Now we're on him. But the Lord has spoken this Okay, word. so the automatic gain, the which is setting itself by this signal, is sitting at uh, 17.16.7, so the 16.6. And that's on the uh, mini whip. Now let's switch to the hula loop. Wow, look at that signal come up. Massive, massive, massive difference. The other thing I noticed is that the signal is more stable. I mean, if you keep your eye on the um, automatic gain here. Wow, look at that. Negative 2 dB, negative 3, negative 2.5, negative 2.4. There's a little bit of fading going on. Wow, it's coming up, it's coming up, it's coming up. Rise again. Oh, it's actually in the positives. Now this is setting itself based on the strongest signal, which is this one. 3.9, 3.8, that's just crazy strong. And they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the first to blow the fire upon it. To melt it, so will I gather you in my anger. 2.1, 2.0, 1.4. Okay, back to the uh, mini whip. And now we're down to negative 
so shall you be melted in the midst of us. Settle it in. And you shall not know it. The Lord has poured out. Mm, my about negative 19, negative 18.7. 22. Negative 18, so yeah. So there you go. Uh, the uh, amplified hula loop antenna is just crazy sensitive. Um, crazy sensitive. It's an incredibly hot antenna. So that's the uh, hula loop active receive antenna. It really works pretty well. Um, I think I'm going to find a place I can tuck it off here somewhere in the living room where it's out of the way and just leave it hooked up to the SDR play. For those times when I'm on the computer and I just want to quickly check out what's going on in HF, it'll be a nice antenna to just leave hooked up to it. It works pretty well. You could put it up in the attic, I suppose. Um, or you could make it into a weatherproof container and put it outside. If you were out in the country, boy, it'd be great. You could crank up the gain on that preamp, add a little more voltage to it, and... Uh, have one heck of a hot antenna for receive. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.